Hello and welcome to Bowler CBT Labs. My name is Matt Bowler, and in this video we will be diving into dynamic multipoint VPNs using IPsec and pre-shared keys for authentication. We've got quite a few different uh, technologies that we'll be utilizing to build these tunnels and uh, get everything up and running between our hub and spoke topology here. One of the great things about the dynamic multipoint VPNs is the scalability and the uh, simple configuration on the hub which allows us to add spo uh, spoke routers and uh, sites at a relative, relatively easy uh, configuration and overall complexity. Although there is a lot at play, you don't have to dive too deep into a subject in order to get it up and running, as you will see with this particular lab. We have four routers. Actually, the interwebs is also a router, uh, but I, I use a different icon on there just to kind of give the idea of uh, a true hub and spoke topology. So we have the three spokes, routers 1, 2, and 3, as you can see down there on the bottom. And then we have our hub router up at the top, clearly labeled hub. You can see the interfaces that fall off of the interwebs router and the IP addresses. So each one of those links between the hub and the interwebs and each one of the spoke routers in the interwebs is a 30-bit uh, mask and just a point-to-point -point link there. However, we have our tunnel interfaces as well, and all of those will be sharing the same subnet, the 172.16.1.0 slash 29, so all of those four tunnel interfaces will technically fall on the same subnet, and we will be using Nextop resolution protocol in order to build those tunnels and then we'll be deploying IPsec to protect the tunnels. In order to get all of these 192.168 addresses to speak to each other so that uh, that initial layer 3 connectivity can occur, we will be using EIGRP, Autonomous System 10, and you can see the networks that will be advertised uh, respectively for each router as well as on the interwebs router there. That will uh, be routing for all of them. Okay, let's dive into the configuration here. We'll start out on the interwebs and get the interfaces configured because without this we will have uh, no connectivity at all. So this is going to be relatively straightforward. We'll start out with the connection to the hub router, Fast Ethernet 00, and the IP address is 